Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is 34 SND Pictures. Well, this is actually my uh, my first class here, and uh, I believe this will help some people. And uh, there is always a room for improvement. As time goes on, our audio, graphics, everything, I believe there will be an improvement on it. So today what we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at uh, how to whiten our white background. You Maybe you've shot against white background. At the end of the day, you discover that uh, the white is not white enough. Or the white has thin, like color cast, maybe blue color cast, or red, magenta, you just want to make it uh, better you want the white to come out better to be purely white so today we'll be looking at how to make it white so the first thing we do is to select this subject this object here to make sure we select it so so that we can inverse it in order to take the selection to the white area or better still let me put it this way we want to select this white area or the white area we want to select it so what are we going to do let's go to selection tools we click on our quick selection tools and you pick your quick selection tool if you are using the latest version of Photoshop you will see here select subject select click select subject it will automatically select the subject so once you select the subject so what you need to do is just to make sure that you correct it because sometimes it's not accurate try as much as possible to correct it so I'm trying to correct so I think this is okay for me so just make sure you try to select the object accurately check all the edges and all that and having done that the next thing you do is for you to inverse it by pressing shift command i on mac then you press shift control i on window so it will automatically select the white area now now having done that the next thing you do is for you to come to this this area and uh, create a new layer how do you create a new layer create a new layer of uh, hue and saturation once you click on it desaturate it and desaturate it come here again to create another new layer look for level click on it increase the shadow area shadow to your satisfaction as you're doing it you see that is affecting all the whole image or if you want it to affect the white area you know we've maxed the white area and you want it to affect the mass area what you just need to do clip it with this first layer the hue and saturation layer so how do you do that we have many ways of doing it but you can do it here you click on this it will automatically clip on the the down layer 
which is the hue and saturation click on it you've seen it now so we're getting there so you come here again you click this time around come to brightness and contrast click on it you increase it you increase it until you're fine but just be very careful so that you don't lose any details on the white area so if you're fine like this if you look at it you see that it's still affecting the image so you clip it again down so you cannot group all this layer by pressing after alighting all of them so you press command G so let's see our before and after before after before after can you see so the reason why you can see that I didn't even touch the skin I didn't touch any I didn't touch the chair I didn't touch the uh, what is it called the glutes so what i'm just particular about is about this uh, lecture today how to make sure that the white become whiter i didn't remove any blemishes i didn't remove any pimples the image is not there but if you look at it now you see that the white has become whiter the white background is now better compared to this you now have this so thank you so much please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel